Welcome back to the Royal Arena here in Copenhagen. Day two of competition and all second round matches uh, today. And after the women's singles and a wonderful performance by Lena Kiesfeldt, uh, a pity about the injury to Wen Yu Zhang of Canada, we turn our attention to men's singles. And it is the World Championship bronze medalist from two years ago, Laksha Sen, up against uh, Jeon Hyuk Jin from Korea. So the court officials are already on court, and I can tell you that this match is from the second quarter of the draw. And already through uh, to the third round is the All England champion, Li Shi Feng and Wang Su Wei. Of course, uh, the winner of the match we're about to watch will play against the winner of the silver medalists from the last World Championships, uh, Kun Lawuta Widasan or Igo Quelo of Brazil. So Laksha Sen, the number 11 seed from India against the unseeded Jun Hyuk Jin of Korea. From India, Laksha Sen. Well, the Commonwealth Games gold medalist won the gold medal in Birmingham last year, Lee beating Ng Si Yong in the final. This man has been beset with injuries. I'm talking about the Korean, of course. There he is, Jun Hyuk Jin. He didn't play at all in 2019 and 20. Only played team competitions in 2021. Injuries combined with his military service I meant he was away from the game for some considerable time he is a much much better player than his ranking suggests I remember him reaching the final of the Australian Open Super Series back in 2016 when he lost to Denmark's Hans Christian Wietinghus in the final in Sydney he, quite surprisingly, uh, for a man that's 28 years of age, is playing in his first ever World Championships. Whereas uh, Lakshya Sen, he's playing in his third consecutive. Now, I can tell you this will only be a second meeting between these two players, and the only previous time they met was in the men's team championships at the Asia zone and Jion won on that occasion as you can see in two straight games it was 42 minutes so if anybody thinks this is going to be one-way traffic have another thought I think this could be a very interesting match well as I was telling you this man is 28 years of age whereas Lakshya Sen uh, turned 22 earlier this month. In fact, six days ago, to be precise. 179, he's grown a little bit since I last commentated on him. And that equates to about five foot 10. Number 11 on the world rankings at the moment did spend three weeks across two different spells as world number six. Commonwealth Games gold medalist, as I was telling you last year and this year, won the Canadian Open. Uh, but before we look at Jun Hyuk Jin, let's have a look at the results so far of Laksha Sen. And in the first round, he beat Georges Julian Paul uh, from Mauritius, 21-12, 21-7 in just 25 minutes. So to the Korean, uh, born in Ulsan in the southeast of the country, it neighbors Busan, and 51 in the world ranking at the moment, I think doesn't do him justice at all. But he's having to work his way back up the world rankings after so long out of the game. First world championships, as I was telling you, uh, but he's been in two finals earlier this year. 
uh, beat El Shenik of Jordan in the first round, 21-9, 21-5 in 28 minutes. So both these players winning their first round matches in under 30 minutes. Well, delighted to say that sitting alongside me is Steen Pedersen, the former head coach to the Danish national team. I'm quite certain that uh, this could play. be a very good match. I, I rate the Korean much, much better than his ranking. Yeah, I totally agree. And um, there's been a lot of good uh, early matches. This is the second round, but there's also been three first round matches that were big clashes in, in the men's singles. So. Um, uh, you really have to be ready from the uh, go of uh, this World Championship tournament. So our court officials, Eric de Roche from Canada and Emmanuel de Botzele of Botswana. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lexia Sen, India. And on my left, John Yuk Jin, Korea. John Yuk Jin to serve, Lobo play. So the Korean far side of the court as we all look down, getting this second round match underway. Now, at the end of One, last year, in fact, exactly a year ago, uh, Lakshya Sen had to undergo nose surgery for a blocked right nasal passage. And none of us Resolver. knew about it at the One. time, Steen. Oh. We were wondering why there was a slump in form. Well, it was quite obvious why. Now we know why there was a slump in form. But it, if you had to uh, talk about the qualities of, of Lakshya Sen, of course, he's been a, a world championship medalist previously, a couple of years ago. What, what would you highlight that we uh, should look out for? His speed, we just saw it here, his speed, his ability to get under the shuttles and his retrieval um, skills. Yes. And a smash that's very, very tricky because he's got such a quick release of the racket, so it's difficult for the opponents to gauge it. As far as the Korean is concerned, I know that he's been away from the circuit, so one uh, would think that maybe he's uh, not back to his uh, a brilliant best that we've seen in the past when he was a top 20 player. I seem to recall him being a really a retrieving player. Is that yeah, a comment? A rally uh, style player, but with, with good technical skills, uh, good retrieval. I, I think at times he's played. Um, a little bit too slow compared to the top 10 players but the first rally and also the opening rallies here even though he's fallen behind 5-1 I five, think I think there's some one. urgency in his uh, in his movements I'm, I'm looking forward to see if if he can transform that into some good play that will definitely help him because I mean if if you're not quick on your feet against Lakshya then the, the, the Two, advantage Lakshya five. gets is, is way too big so you've got to be able to somehow match it yeah It. Uh, they've not been afraid to um, Three, five. attack here in the opening stages of the match, and uh, that that's that bodes well for the match. That was sort of a half smash. Yeah, it was. was clever, wasn't it? It was Six, reducing the pace. Three. So it's not automatic, the reply from uh, John Haik Jin. Played. I think 
he touched it before he landed, didn't he? Four, six. Take a look at this. Yes, change it. Knew he made the wrong change. decision anyway. Oh no, touched it afterwards. <laughs> he would have liked to change <laughs> his decision. <laughs> Uh, I'm positive that uh, John Haik Jin is trying to move faster and play faster than what we've seen for a long, long time here. It also puzzles me, uh, uh, puzzled me a little bit that Lancia Sen chose this near end here, which I, uh, given his uh, playing style, would would deem to be the best end for him. I think that's out of respect for his opponent that he's, he knows that he's down 1-0 in the head-to-head, -head, so he wants to get off to a good start. Eight, four. the Nine, longest rally of the four. match so far. Very interesting the way Laksha, I thought, stood his ground on his defence. There. Yeah. He was anticipating a drop shot, I suspect. Yes. Hold and flick from the backhand net down the forehand side and of Jun here. Jun. That was played to perfection. Look how short that lift is. Not sure whether Ten. you say that's well anticipated or whether you say that Sain didn't play give that shuttle <laughs> enough height or enough deception. <laughs> Certainly well dealt with by Gian. Oh, I thought that may have been going wide. Challenge at the net. Ten. Point. John. situations where perhaps it comes here and I would like to see it from the net cam to see how far is it away from the net the one that he plays back there with his forehand there it comes yeah. oh Oy, that's a that's a that's great shot a terrific shot wasn't it So to the mid-game interval, and it's a five-point advantage for the number 11 seed, Lakshya Sen. Not over complicating things, just quick advice. Part one, 20 Very positive seconds. in his coaching. Part one, 20 seconds.
Well, the Indian coach is taking all of their allotted time to speak to their man. Indian coaches, Lutcher's father, on the left as we're looking at them. And Dimit Shridha. Yeah. When his playing days, played some league matches uh, here in Denmark, and of Shridha. Under you as coach? No. No, no, no. no. angle good rally fabulous rally Oh, it's landed in! That came off the frame of the racket. My goodness me, that was a lucky final shot. My Lacha sent. We all need a bit of luck occasionally, though, don't we? What an excellent rally, though. Absolutely magnificent. Really, really high class men single. Okay. Okay. There it is, off the frame. And that landed on the line. Yep, easily the longest rally, 50 shots. Yeah, there's the sideways drift coming into play from 15, left to right as seven. we all look down on the court during the rallies. surprised by the Korean Seven. here, Steen, because I said right at the start that I remembered him uh, very much as a, a, a runner on court. He's played quite aggressively. He's he's wanting to get on the attack and command the rallies. Yeah, and, and I, I think it's due to uh, him being put under pressure in his defense and he couldn't really cope with it um, in the uh, early stages of this match. I think uh, Lakshya did a clever thing, not playing too passive. Uh, here in the opening on this uh, this first game here. He's had a number of successful smashes down the forehand side of uh, John Hak Jin. And now I think the Korean wants to try and, and get better control on the front court, but but um, he's not successful. 8-16. Thanks. And we saw that long, long rally where, where Lakshya suddenly changed to a little bit more, um, uh, not passive, but um, patient style. And say, okay, then now we've played a number of shots, so now it's your turn and I'll just uh, retrieve. Um, so to me, it shows that, uh, over. that he's um, 17, got a lot of variation 18. in this game, the Indian.
missed it. 18 8. That's the second time he's done that, isn't it? It's over. Exactly. 9-18. Lifted a little bit too short. Oh! Playing up against the drift to that corner, both the sideways drift and the uh, drift alongside the court. Uh! 10-18. Well taken. 11 18. And I like that, Steen, because the previous one he tried to kill, he pushed it out the back, didn't yeah. he? But, but uh, he was where he needed to be also on the previous one, just didn't get it done. And, and I, I like the more aggressive, um, I wouldn't say style, but, but uh, attention that we see from. Oi, that's a fantastic retrieval. Oi, Ooh. he slipped. And he's guessed correctly on where the smash was coming. What an extraordinary rally. And he's made it. That is absolutely extraordinary. 1911. How did he get that back? Then he slips. Look, he's totally guessed correctly. Thank you. And a perfect final smash. Yes. And now just two points from the opening game. Oh, that's good. My goodness me, he put that away efficiently. Luxus like said. And he's earned himself nine game point opportunities. And again, that little shot with not full pace set up the weak reply from John. So he game. misjudges that, leaves it, and it lands in. Lexia Sen, 21 11. So the umpire just confirming that scoreline. Yeah, clearly in 21-11 in 16 minutes of play. Second game, low ball, play. So one game to the good, 
Lakshya Sen. They'll be won the opening game 21-11. Oh, that's well left. So the obvious question, Steen, is the what Solberg. should the One Korean do low. here to turn this around? Yeah, uh, I think he, he needs to take the initiative. He needs to do exactly what Lakshya did on this near side of the court. Because if he leaves the initiative to Lakshya, then, then, then I think he will be able to outmaneuver him. Smash. The problem for, for Johnny is that, that Lachia like, is really, really good oh. in retrieving as well. Yes. So um, he cannot uh, sort of um, make himself um, vulnerable to uh, counter-attacks. See, that's the smash there, the short, short racket movement, or arm movement, I should say. Makes it difficult to uh, judge whether it's uh, straight. Or cross smash. The difference is, you know, Two, I felt in the one. opening game, I thought John was actually trying to take initiative a lot of the time. But it seems to me the difference between these two players is Lakshya Sen, when he has the opportunity, can play a winning shot. I think that the Korean is struggling in that department. Like, well, that's simply not close enough to the no. sideline, was it? No. And, and the, uh, I mean, it's Brilliant. a flat. This is much steeper. It's close to the sideline. Yeah. And that's what we've seen um, when when he Three, was um, in the final of Australia Open. That John Hak Jin, he was, he was good rally style player, yeah. but he'd got trouble scoring his own points. So if the Koreans, they've sort of analyzed that he, he needs to be more dangerous. Then that's that's uh, we can only agree on that. Yeah. And then it takes time working on it. It takes time working on um, choosing wisely at the net. Which uh, shot should we play back at the net? Which can we uh, lift and which can we uh, try to kill at the net and so on? So it's a process. Four, and, uh, one. Yeah. That's well judged. Yeah. That, you see, that was an opportunity to play, wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. For Jiang. That's what Yeah, that's that's the right. I over. think if I were the Korean, then Two, um, the yes. main goal or the, um, the 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 thing that I would build the game plan on in this second game is exactly that corner that he's playing there, the forehand corner. He needs to play it well. He cannot just play it with no pressure or anything. And, and we saw in the first game Lakshya playing a little bit too short. But if he can play that with quality, then that's a difficult corner for, for Lakshya to um, to sort of make something happen from. And then he can Two, vary it four. with three other corners and see if something occurs. If not, okay, then more pressure on the long forehand corner. Great read. Yeah. And that's what happens if it's not... Five. Uh, of the right quality or there's no uh, other deception uh, sort of like no threat down the line he's got to have some threats down the line as well and, and yeah, that, that's the problem as you mentioned it's not that dangerous oh that's landed in that's great control because Lakshya Sen is hitting with the drift six two right Absolute perfection. Plum on the line. What's happening to Korean men's singles, Steen? I mean, we're, we're only taking, talking a few years ago when Sung Won Ho was world number one. Uh, he's retired, uh, or he's still playing, but he's not playing internationally. Yeah, but th the point is, is that uh, Jun Hyuk Jun 
is the highest ranked Korean men's singles player at 51. They, they've always struggled a bit in the men's singles, the Koreans, compared to um, the, especially the doubles disciplines. Well, the World Championships, uh, Korean Seven, players have never won either three. of the singles. No. But uh, they've uh, won uh, golds in um, loads of golds in all the three doubles disciplines. Yeah. It, it seems like they haven't really found the code to to men's singles. I think we, we, we know that Sean Sung Mo got an Olympic uh, silver and, um, and Park Sung Woo a World Championship silver. But apart from that, I think Lee Hyun Il has been the sort of, I would, I would rate him as the best men's singles player they've had, where he, four, he's had the attacking seven. abilities. Sean Sung Mo, he was a rally style player as well. So. There's something in, 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 I think, maybe perhaps the, the culture of, uh, of Korean men's singles that, um, that perhaps needs to emphasize the um, adventures play a little bit more. Good night shot. not found his range it's altogether over. at the net. Oh, another Korean player four. we had high hopes for, Steen, Ho Kwang Hee. Yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah, because he, he beat Mota. And uh, he, what, he beat, uh, well, he also uh, uh, beat, if I recall correctly, Lee Chong Wei, when Lee Chong Wei was making his comeback, yeah. he, he beat him in the qualifying of the Korean Open. Yeah. Then beats Momoto, who was the number one seed at the Tokyo Olympics. And he seems to have disappeared. Yeah. What's happened to him? I don't know. No, me neither. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's a pity. I was going to say that's a beauty. Nine, Sen was four. left stranded. It was a very short lift and it deserved to be put away, but that was much better placement, wasn't it, of this match? Yeah. Much nearer to the sideline. Yeah, look how short it is. You can tell from where the player's feet are when they jump in the air. Good shot. Yeah. For the silver, 10-5. Yeah, he agrees with me. <laughs> Thank you. DK Sen. Good shot. Players on court. Did that net exchange interval. happen? Going to the mid-game interval, that's your sent with a six-point advantage. He only had a five-point advantage. Look at this. Brushes it off the top of the tape. That is amazing. <laughs> Utterly amazing. <laughs> Well, just before the mid-game interval, we were pondering what had happened to Korean men's singles five. department. What a contrast Play. to India. I mean, they've got 
as so many top-rated players now. Sure, sure. And the men's singles. Pranoy is revived. Five. Yep. Yes. And and sent the Canada, Canada Open uh, victory. Sort of marked his comeback to uh, contention. Not so much the win, but the players that he beat uh, on road to that. Six players in the top 50 in the world at the moment, India. Yeah. 13 5. And there's a lot of um, players competing internationally from uh, India. I recall last year, I think I counted that uh, there were three international tournaments in Europe in three consecutive weeks, and, and there was like 31 women singles players. Um, from India. From India. Silver. Wow. And I think it was approximately Six, the same in men's singles. 13. So we also have uh, Priyanshu Rachawa and uh, Mitun Manjuna um, making their way up. Shrikhand is, is um, Ooh, that still was something wide. to be reckoned with. Yeah, but if, unfortunately, he, uh, Kidambi Shrikhand uh, lost in the first round yesterday, of course. Kidambi was the silver medalist at the World Championships two years ago. Lost to Kenta Nishimoto in two straight games. Yeah. 15, 6. You know, one of the things that I think that Laksha Sen creates the opportunity to play these winners because he leaps in the air, he makes that big physical effort to get behind the shuttle yeah. early. He's, he's super fast in his feet. Yeah, so that he's then got the opportunity to play the, the winner. So, yeah, it's good over. pressure from John here. Jin. Seven, 15. a lovely cross-court net shot from the Korean and his opponent was out of position that's lovely Over sober 16 8 Seem to get stuck with it's his over. movement there. Nine, Sen. 16. Didn't seem to take the final step. Watch this, Dean. Needed an yeah. extra little step, didn't yeah. he? To, to get back from yeah. uh, the corner. He's played a great game here, Laksha, in my opinion. Always uh, there. I mean, if you're John Hyakjin, you, you know that if you if you are a little bit off in terms of accuracy and so on, then your opponent is going to, to be there and and attack you. And I think there, there could be a number of men's singles players if they're watching this match saying, oh, thank God I didn't play that, um, that Korean uh, John there because he could have been very difficult so i don't think the score line here mm. um yeah it, it, sh it shows how how well lakshin has played yeah it doesn't show exactly um the level i think uh, john has displayed 
This has been an unfortunate matchup for him. Again, that final shot, that movement to get 18, behind the shuttle. 10. And he looks to be in a fantastic playing mood, uh, Laksh. <laughs> 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 a little pirouette there. We, I think we've got some fantastic matches coming up. In, uh, especially the top half of the men's draw looks 19, really, really intriguing. 10. Yeah. I concur. Two points away from victory. Laksha Sen and booking his place in the third round. Oh. Over silver. 11-19. Yes. John just isn't able to 20, read which way the smashes are coming point, at all. 11. He's been left stranded time and time again. Look, didn't even move for it. Not a flinch. Match point opportunities for the bronze medalist from two years ago. Service over. 12, 20. That'll okay. do it on his second match point opportunity. The number 11 seed, Lakshya Sen, uh, defeats Jun Hyuk Jin of Korea. 21-11, 21-12 is uh, very convincing indeed, but as Steam was saying, it really was the manner in which he won that. Yeah, that was a great performance by Lakshya Sen. Only 36 minutes for his victory. Beautiful angle. So many times hitting clean winners in this match. Yeah, rightly so, he's pleased with that. So confirmation of the scoreline, 21-11, 21-12 in 36 minutes. Coming up next, we turn our attention back to women's singles, and it's the bronze medalist from last year, but now the world number one, and Se Young of Korea, up against the two-time world junior champion, Gojin Wei of Malaysia.